Are you shopping for a new Herman Miller office chair, but you're not quite sure how the different chairs differ or which one will be best for your needs? In this video, I'm gonna go over the seven most popular chairs from Herman Miller so that you can easily decide if one of them will be a good fit for you. Hey guys, it's Ryan with BTAD TV. Right next to me here, I have seven of the most popular office chairs from Herman Miller, and I figured it would be helpful just to go through the different chairs, let you know how they differ and what you're going to expect when you get each chair, just because there's not a lot of comparisons out there, and sometimes it can be difficult to tell from the Herman Miller website exactly what you're getting with each chair. So we're just gonna run through them all here quickly, give you a quick summary so that you know what to expect with each of these Herman Miller office chairs. Before we start looking at the individual chairs, I just wanna go over a few things that apply to every chair in this list so that we don't have to keep going over it for every single chair. Herman Miller has some fantastic policies, so every chair in this list is going to come standard with free shipping when you order from their website. It also comes with their amazing 12-year warranty, their free return policy, and each chair is rated for up to 350 pounds. So now when we're looking at the sale here, this is gonna be their entry level task chair with a starting price of $545. Now, the most unique thing on the sale is going to be its backrest. It has this flexible rubber-like material designed after the concept of a suspension bridge. And I found it to be very supportive, very comfortable. It conforms to your back nicely and it's very breathable so you do not get hot while using the chair. The seat is gonna feature a more firm sit. It has about two inches of foam. It doesn't bottom out, but it's not going to be a soft, squishy sit if that's what you're looking for, but I did find it to be supportive. You do have the option to add a seat slider, giving you seat depth adjustment if you need it to give you some more adjustability for those taller individuals. The arms are not gonna be quite as nice as some of the higher end chairs from Herman Miller, which is expected. This is a chair that starts at about 500 bucks, so it's gonna come with fixed arms. The arm caps are not very large and they're gonna be more on the firm side. If you do wanna go with an adjustable arm package, you can upgrade, pay a little bit extra more to get some adjustment there. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about is going to be the recline function on this chair. It does have a nice synchro tilt me mechanism with locking position and tension control. Control. So for $500, you are getting a chair with quite a bit of adjustability and it's a Herman Miller design chair with their policies. So I do think it provides pretty good value for this price point. The next chair that we're gonna take a look at is going to be the Lino. Now this chair has a starting price of $675 if you order it through the online store at hermanmiller.com. It is going to be a step up in quality over the sale, but not quite that of the Mirror 2 Aeron, etc. It does feature a mesh back design. The mesh is very flexible, conforms to your body very nicely. It's not quite as soft as the mesh that we see on the Aeron, but still good quality. If you want to add an adjustable lumbar support system, you can add it. It's it's a lot smaller, narrower than most systems, and it does have height adjustment, but I did find it to be pretty comfortable if you like that added support. Next, we're gonna take a look at the seat. It does have a thickly padded seat, but the seat does not necessarily feel the way that it looks. It is definitely gonna be much more firm than most seats that look this way, but it's not gonna bottom out. It has good quality foam. I did find it to be supportive. It's just not gonna be that soft, plush feel that it looks like from pictures, so if you're looking for that, I might tend to go another direction. I do feel that the arms are an upgrade from the sale. You have nicer, larger arm pads. They're not soft like the Mira or the Aeron, but they're not hard plastic, kind of an in-between. And they do have nice round edges, so you don't ever have to put your wrist or your forearm on a hard edge, which definitely can be uncomfortable. It does come standard with fixed arms, but you can upgrade to adjustable arms, which will give you height adjustment, width adjustment, and depth adjustment. So overall, a pretty nice arm package. The next thing that we're gonna take a look at is the mechanism on the chair. This chair has a nice synchro tilt mechanism, a very smooth recline, and two of my favorite things about the chair are going to be the tension adjustment and the tilt lock position adjustment. Both of them feature knobs that are very easy to use. One of the most responsive, easiest to use tension adjustment, adjustments I've ever seen. It clicks into place and you can choose between multiple different positions and you can go from the least tense to the most tense within a matter of seconds. So I really like this design from the Lino. The next chair that we're gonna look at is going to be the Sella. Now, this is also a chair that starts at $675 like the Lino, 
but this is the first chair in the Herman Miller lineup that allows you to get into their high-end mechanisms. With the harmonic tilt mechanism on the Sella, it gives you that really nice natural feeling that is unique to Herman Miller chairs. A lot of people sit down in a Herman Miller chair, they rock back and forth, and they don't necessarily know why it is so comfortable to them, but it just feels comfortable. It is the recline motion. The chairs from Herman Miller simply recline and rock differently than any other office chairs on the market, and that's what makes them so unique and so comfortable. This is the lowest price chair that you can get that from from Herman Miller. So it's kind of a combination between a knee tilt and a synchro tilt mechanism, which is why it makes it feel so unique. If you choose to do so, you can also upgrade the mechanism with a tilt limit limiter, which will give you forward seat tilt and multiple locking positions. And the tension control is also really responsive. So overall, a very high-end mechanism on a mid-price chair from Herman Miller. When we take a look at the backrest, the backrest is also gonna be very unique compared to most office chairs because it does feature this plastic back with almost this massage type of texture material. I will say that I couldn't really feel the texture when I was testing the chair and the backrest is quite firm. So if you do not like a hard backrest, then this might not be for you. You might wanna go with a softer option. It does have a nice adjustable lumbar support system that you can add though with a nice height adjustment range and depth adjustment so you can have more or less pressure depending on your preferences. The Sella is also the first chair in the Herman Miller lineup that lets you get into padded armrests. The armrests are not quite as padded as the Aeron or Mira, but they do have more padding than the Lionel or Sail, so they are very comfortable. You can also upgrade these to an adjustable package, which gives you height adjustment and pivot adjustment, so you can put them in more positions while you're working. The last thing that we're gonna look at is going to be the seat. This is gonna be another padded seat from Herman Miller, and it is on the firm side with not a ton of padding. It is a spacious design, and you can upgrade to seat depth adjustment if you would like to do so, but it is going to be a firm seat from Herman Miller, so keep that in mind when shopping for this chair. The next chair that we're going to take a look at is going to be the Mira 2, coming in at a starting price of $795. Now this is the first chair on our list that happens to feature a mesh seat, and one cool thing about the mesh seat on the Mira 2 is that it does have the option to add what they call a flex front, and this gives you seat depth adjustment, allowing you to bend the front down or pull it up to have more or less room for behind your legs. Now, I will say that mesh seats tend to be pretty polarizing. People either love them or hate them, so make sure to keep that in mind when shopping for a mesh chair so that you don't get stuck with a seat that maybe you're not so comfortable with. Maybe the most unique thing about the Mirror 2 is going to be the backrest design. With a perforated plastic back, it is going to provide a more firm backrest experience. It is very breathable though, and if it is too firm for you, you can add the butterfly suspension, which puts a thin layer of cloth in between the backrest and you to give you a little bit more comfort. One thing that I really like about the back on the Mirror 2 is that it is flexible, it allows you to really move when you're stretching, moving around in the chair, unlike the Sella, which is much more rigid in its plastic back design. It also has a nice lumbar adjustment system. If you do choose to upgrade to it, you get a nice height adjustment range. And this, fe this chair features one of the only lumbar adjustment systems that I've seen that allows you to adjust the firmness on both sides of the lumbar independently of each other, which is a really cool function. The Mirror 2 does have a nice arm package. It comes with fixed arm standard, but you can upgrade to their fully adjustable arms, which I would highly recommend. This is gonna give you height adjustment, width adjustment, depth adjustment, and pivot adjustment, so you can basically put the arms wherever you'd like when you're working. I like the arm caps. They're nicely padded, they're soft to the touch, and they are large enough for you to fit your entire forearm on. And they do feature a unique design with a sloped edge, almost like a waterfall seat, which really allows you to get up close to your desk and work closer than most arms will allow you to do unless you can get them all the way under your desk. And the last thing that we're gonna highlight on the Mirror 2 is going to be the tilt function. This does feature the harmonic tilt like we talked about on the Sella, giving you a very nice, smooth recline function. If you do upgrade to the tilt limiter, you get forward seat tilt, multiple locking positions, and a very responsive tension adjustment. I'm a big fan of the way that the seat reclines. Slightly different than the Sella, the back goes back a little bit more per the seat than the Sella, but overall, a great recline function on a mid-priced chair from Herman Miller. The next chair that we're gonna talk about is going to be the Aeron Remastered, the flagship chair from Herman Miller, one of the most popular office chairs in the entire world. Now, when we look at the Aeron as compared to the Mirror 2, we are going to see a pretty good step up in terms of quality. Overall, the Aeron is one of the most well-built chairs that we have ever had come through our office 
We see chairs as old as 20 years old from Herman Miller that are still working, still functioning properly. So this is definitely one of the most well-made chairs on the market today. So one thing that I really wanna focus on is going to be the seat on the Aeron, and that is because this is usually gonna be the make or break factor when people are deciding whether or not to keep the Aeron that they've ordered. The Aeron does come in three different sizes, and this is meant to allow you to fit in the chair perfectly and you kind of do need to fit in the chair perfectly because of the way that the seat is designed with the frame and with the side bolsters. It's kind of like a cradling feeling where you're sitting in the chair and not on top of the seat. And if you're a little bit too wide or the front of your back of your legs hit the front of the seat, it can definitely be uncomfortable and that's going to be the biggest drawback for most people with the Aeron. Going along with the high-end components, the Aeron does have the highest quality mesh that we have seen come through our office. The 8C pellicle mesh is comfortable to the touch, very flexible, and it is also very durable. We see the same 8Z pellicle mesh on the backrest, providing you multiple different zones of support so that you can work in multiple positions and be supported. I found the back to be very comfortable, even without an added lumbar support system. The mesh conforms to your body, it is flexible, and it does provide good support with the natural curve without adding a lumbar system. If you are a fan of adding lumbar support, you do have two options, a height adjustable system, or you can go with their new Posture Fit SL, which provides a larger range of support and gives you the ability to control how much or how little support that you are receiving. The Aeron comes with a really nice arm package, testing very well in our office, both for comfort and for adjustability. It does come standard with fixed arms. Again, I would recommend getting the fully adjustable arms because you're gonna get height adjustment, depth adjustment, and pivot adjustment. The caps themselves, the pads, are among the most comfortable arm pads that I've tested. They are really squishy, really soft. You actually sink into them and they are durable, which is a problem with a lot of soft arm pads breaking down quickly. That's not gonna be the case with these arm pads. They do have good longevity. And the last thing that I'm gonna touch on, which really helps to make an Aeron an Aeron, is the recline function and rocking motion on an Aeron. No chair in the world feels like an Aeron, even other chairs from Herman Miller. Nothing feels quite as smooth as this chair if you just like to freely recline and rock back and forth. I prefer the recline on this chair to the Mira, to the Sella, to the Embody, to the Cosm. For whatever reason, this chair just feels more natural to recline in than any other chair that we have tested. It also comes with multiple locking positions, tension adjustment, and a forward seat tilt addition if you choose to upgrade to the tilt limiter with forward seat tilt options. So overall, definitely one of the highest end mechanisms that we've had come through our office and probably the biggest selling point for the Aeron chair. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the Cosm chair. Now this is a chair that comes in a low back, mid back, or a high back option. We've got the high back option here, and this starts for $1,495 on Herman Miller's online store. This is probably gonna be the most unique chair from Herman Miller, their most recent release. One thing that we really need to look at with this chair is that it had a big focus on just being a really nicely designed high-end office chair that can be placed in a lot of different working environments. So you can see that a lot of planning was put into the overall look of the chair. Every aspect in terms of the aesthetic, the lines were focused on. It's just one of the most attractive office chairs that we've probably ever had come through our office. And everything on this chair is super high end from the quality of the plastic to the plastic molds to the mesh itself. Everything on this chair is really high end and you also have the option to go with their dipped in color program. So if you wanna get this entire chair all in red, then you can do that, which is not something that we see on too many different office chairs. That's gonna be one of the most attractive things about the Cosm is going to be the look and the design of the chair. One feature on the Cosm that is pretty rare to see on most office chairs is the continuous mesh back into the seat design. You can see that the mesh continues from the seat into the back. There is not a gap there, no space like we see on most office chairs. Now this provides you with more of a feeling like you're being cradled in the chair. I found this to be very comfortable. I found it to have good back support even though it does not have an adjustable lumbar support system. Just due to the natural shape of the curve, I felt very supported in the chair. I also found the seat to be pretty comfortable, more comfortable than the Aeron or the Mira 2 seat, mainly because the frame did not impact me while I was sitting in the chair. One thing that you do wanna think about is that this chair does not have seat depth adjustment. 
and we did find the seat to be a little bit more narrow than a lot of chairs we've tested, which did pose a problem for the taller people in our office, so keep that in mind if you are a taller individual. The reason the Cosm does not come with an optional lumbar support system or seat depth adjustment is because Herman Miller wanted to design a chair that had as few function as possible to make it very easy for anyone to sit down in the chair and use. So they decided to put a weight sensitive mechanism on the Cosm. This is gonna be the only chair in their office chair lineup that features this type of weight sensitive mechanism. They call it their auto harmonic tilt. So very similar to the mechanism we saw in the Mira 2 and the Sella, but it does not have any locking functions tension adjustments. It just puts you in the position that it feels is most ergonomic for you based on your weight. Now, when you are reclined, reclining free, freely, it does feel very comfortable, very smooth, like the other Herman Miller harmonic tilt mechanism, so you are getting that. But if you're someone who likes to kind of fine tune their adjustments, lock it in place, then this might not be the best chair for you. And lastly, we're gonna take a look at the arm options on the Cosm. Now, when the Cosm first released, the main focus of it was that design application being in high-end environments and just looking nice, which is why Herman Miller really pushed the leaf arm options. They featured it in most of their advertising material. They featured leaf arms at Neocon, and we didn't really get to see a lot of action with the height adjustable or fully adjustable arm package that they do offer. So. I will be the first one to say, like I said in my review of this chair, that I do not believe that the leaf arms are gonna be very practical for most situations. If you're just looking for a really nice looking chair that's not gonna be used very much, maybe a conference room setting, these arms can be very nice. But if you're planning on using this chair for any type of tasking or computing applications, I would highly recommend getting the fully adjustable arm package because you're gonna have much more control over your arm positioning and it's gonna be much more comfortable while you're working at your desk. And the final Herman Miller chair that we're gonna take a look at today is going to be the Embody. With a current price of $1,635 on Herman Miller's online store, this is gonna be one of the most expensive chairs that you can get from Herman Miller. Now, I will say that this is going to be a really high-end chair. Build quality, design aesthetics, right up there with the Aeron and the Cosm in terms of the best chairs that we've had come through our office. And the Embody does have some cool technology that is very unique to it starting out with the pixelated support system throughout the seat and the back. Now, the body is designed with a bunch of different pixels and then it has a little thin layer of foam and fabric in between there that you sit on and lean up against with the backrest. What these nodes are meant to do is kind of just provide support for you no matter where you move in the chair, if you bend, move side to side, you're still going to be supported by these pixelated systems. So a very unique feature, high-end design from Herman Miller with that regard. With the pixelated system and a small layer of foam and fabric, the seat is gonna be more on the firm side, but it is gonna be one of the most flexible seats that you can get from the Herman Miller lineup, providing you with some of the widest range of movement in the seat. And this also applies to the back. The back on the Embody is gonna give you the biggest range of movement out of any Herman Miller chair and it's not even close. You can move side to side, have it bend backwards if you're gonna stretch. Any position that you wanna move, the backrest will move with you and support with you. It's meant to mimic your spine and it kinda has almost like a rib cage design through the back. That's how they tried to design it. So very supportive, very functional while you're moving in the chair. One thing that is missing from the backrest is an adjustable lumbar support system. You cannot add that on the Embody, but it does have a nice natural curve that really helps to remedy that. And it does have an independent back angle adjustment system, which is pretty rare for an office chair. And you can kind of fine tune that to give you a little bit more or less lumbar support while you're reclining in the chair. The Embody does feature a really high-end mechanism like we've seen on the Aeron, Cosm, Sella, Mira 2. It's gonna have that nice, free-flowing, rocking, recline motion that is very easy to use, kind of that synchro tilt, knee tilt hybrid that we've touched on earlier. Very comfortable to recline in the Embody, that classic Herman Miller feel. You're also going to get multiple posi position tilt lock and a very responsive tension adjustment system. It does lack forward seat tilt, so if that is something that you really need, you're gonna have to go with one of the other chairs that we've talked about in the video. 
And the last thing that we're gonna touch on is going to be the arm package on the Embody. It only comes with one armrest option. That's gonna be the fully adjustable arms. And with that package, you get height adjustment and width adjustment. You're not going to get any arm cap adjustment like depth, pivot, or width adjustment with the arm caps, but the full arms themselves do adjust width-wise and you get a huge range of width and height adjustment. Now, some people are a little put off by the fact that you don't have depth or pivot adjustment on the arm caps, but the arm caps themselves are very large, much larger than most, so that really helps to make up for that because you do have a lot of surface area with them. They're not quite as soft to the touch as the Mira or the Aeron, but they are softer than most arm pads, and I did find them to be very comfortable when I tested the chair. And that concludes our list of the seven most popular office chairs by Herman Miller. Now, if you're looking for any more information on any of the chairs featured here, I would highly suggest looking in the description. We'll link any reviews that we do have currently. But if you're not seeing a review on some of the chairs here that we have not covered, make sure to follow us on social media and click that subscribe button so that you're notified when that review does come out. I appreciate you making it this far. If you have, smash that like button. And thanks a lot for watching.